Hello, my name is Alex Alvarado, and in this course we are going to be going over the character design and concept process for developing a non-player character for video games. Uh, primarily, we are going to uh, spend this, um, well, the entire length of the course we're going to go over and, and come up with, uh, with a minion that is going to be somebody that, uh, that we're going to enjoy uh, just destroying ranks of someone who's going to be uh, just this this little little booger of a character that that we're going to be more than happy to put a sword through. So um, so, but before we begin into actually stepping into uh, stepping into the whole uh, painting and, and character design process, uh, I wanted to to uh, go over briefly some of the. Uh, Photoshop uh, and and Wacom tablet settings uh, that that I that I use on a daily basis. Um, primarily, I encourage everyone to uh, to familiarize themselves with uh, Photoshop's uh, hotkeys and all the different all the different menus. Like anything that you can that you can do that will simplify your life uh, in painting. You know that's that's. Uh, everything that you can do that can that can simplify your life will just only make your job as a concept artist easier. Uh, the The more time that you can that you can spend concentrating on your idea uh, is is time that that's not wasted by having to go through menu items and look at you know different things all around. So like the more time you spend clicking through like oh what does this do what does this do oh, I need a I need a new layer oh I gotta go do blah 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 blah. So that is yeah, I mean that's frustrating when all you need to know. Is uh, Command Shift N gives me a new layer. Boom. So uh, before we jump into that, uh, I wanted to uh, just go over real quick. Right now, I am working in Adobe Photoshop CX uh, CS6. So um, just to give you a heads up as to as to what program I'm in, I am also working on a uh, on a Wacom Cintiq tablet. It's the the 12WX, which is the smaller uh, the smaller screen. So, um, well, let me let me just go ahead and let's jump right into the uh, to the to my Wacom settings. You know, th these are these are these are my settings, but I just wanted to give you an idea of of what I'm using on on a daily basis. Uh, I'm left-handed, so so I set my I set my right hand uh, to uh, just to you know all the different all the different buttons that that I'm using. All the time, so I'm always using Command. Uh, I'm also working on a Mac, so Command for for Mac, Control for PC, Shift, uh, Option, which is also Alt, uh, and uh, and I change this button to be uh, Spacebar. So in Photoshop, Spacebar uh, lets you lets you pan across an image. So when you hold down the Spacebar button, you can you can pan and scrub and do do all that other fun stuff. Uh, on my on my left hand, these are the these are the keys that I use uh, all the time. I use all the time. Um, big one is Tab. Uh, you know, putting together Tab and Command lets me uh, flip through different uh, windows that I have open. So again, that's something I use all the time. Uh, B for brush. L for lasso. So it lets me press L. I get to make a selection. Uh, I use the I use the 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 freehand uh, lasso all the time. Uh, if you just hold down Alt, it lets you turn it into the geometric uh, lasso, which which is which is very cool. So I like you know having the the ability to to make a selection on hand. But if I need to you know reset my hand, just hold down Alt or and so I can I can let go and you know not be too concerned about that. But again, this is something that I can do on the fly. Uh, very quickly, uh, and then also I use uh, this this key for for Q, which is the hotkey for Quick Mask. Uh, Quick Mask is a very uh, robust and powerful tool. Uh, it lets you uh, make selections. So if you need uh, if you need uh, you know a feathered edge, but you don't want the whole thing to be feathered, you only want a certain spot to be feathered. Uh, you can you can do that. Uh, you know, very, very quickly and easily, and and you know, you have complete control. Anyway, Quick Mask is a is a very powerful, uh, a very very powerful selection tool that I think is is often uh, underutilized. But uh, we'll we'll jump into that a little bit more down the road. 
So again, uh, back into the Wacom uh, tablet settings. So these are these are all the all the keys that I use all the time. Uh, touch strip. You know the they're the they're the touch uh, the the touch strips on either side of your tablet. Either uh, you know every Intuos has them, every Cintiq has them. Uh, and, and again, you know, I know that there are other other brands of of drawing tablets that are out there, but I'm using I'm using Wacom, and and for the most part, the the industry standard has has been uh, Wacom. Uh, my my right hand uh, again, you know, is free to do whatever. I have it I have it set to the open bracket and close bracket, which uh, allows me to scale my brush up and down. So uh, open or the the close bracket scales it up. Uh, open bracket scales it down. So that way I can control what uh, the size of, of my brush, you know, random or at random, rather than having to, you know, have a whole bunch of different presets for, you know, have a whole bunch of different presets for for brush sizes. When you know I would I can control that, you know, with you know with the power of my thumb, the mighty thumb. Um, additionally. I also use the other touch strip for my undo, uh, my undos, which um, you know seems seems kind of weird. Like you know, typically it's it's been set uh, to zoom in and zoom out, but for me, I I prefer to use uh, my my thumbs to do my zooming in and out uh, on on the right hand. Let me show you again uh, on my on my right hand. Command and spacebar. Pressing these two buttons together at the same time uh, allows me to zoom in. So I'm holding down Command, spacebar turns it into the zoom. I can I can select, I can zoom in, uh, and then uh, at the same time, uh, Alt or Option spacebar lets me zoom out. So zoom out, boom boom boom, and zoom in. Whee! Um, so again, having having that functionality right there just opens up a new uh, an, uh, another. Uh, another set of, of buttons that I can use, and so I will use this for my undos. You can you can open this up, keystroke. I can set the the key. So if I press up on the on the strip, it's uh, Command Z, Control Z. Press down. I have it as Alt Command Z. So that is the step backward, uh, step backward Control Z, which you know when you just do Command Z, you press it once, it undoes. Your your last your last move. You press it again. Oh, and it comes back. But sometimes you want to go back, you know, and undo all the different messes that you did. So do step back. So undo, 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 undo. There you go. And and so all your work that you just did is now undone, and you don't have to reach and touch your keyboard at all. Look at that. Your hands stay free, and you stay awesome. Uh, next, we're gonna just briefly touch on my favorite menu. Which is the radial menu on uh, on the newer Intuos tablets, and as well as the the Cintiq tablets, it comes with the radial menu. And this is a this is a, a very very powerful tool that I recommend everyone uh, learning and experimenting with, and trying to figure out what uh, what works best for them. So with me, my radial menu, I have it set to all again all the different buttons that I would press all the time. On the keyboard, but now I don't have to press the keyboard. Now this menu is just a, a a button click away. I have my my pen settings. I have my my back button on my on my stylus to be the radial menu. So when I press that, boom, the radial menu pops up. See, back, and so now I have all these different buttons that I can just click without having to reach up and touch my keyboard. Uh, my front my front button is the right click button. Again, a very powerful, powerful tool. Uh, so, uh, in here, I get I have all my different menus. So F to change uh, the screen mode to you know from standard mode to full screen to display mode. And then again, I have sub menus in there with even more with more goodies inside. G for uh, for the gradient tool, M for marquee, W for magic wand, J for the patch selection tool, uh, D for uh, D is, is is a great tool. Like you, uh, D is a keystroke where you could have you know any number of colors. There you go. I got red, but you know what? I don't want red. I want it to go back to black and white. So you press D, and you'll notice again your colors are now black and white. What? 
and uh, X, which changes both the foreground and background colors. So you press X, foreground, background, foreground, background. So let's say I want to keep, I want to keep uh, the red, but I don't want to, I don't want to lose the red. So you press X, put it in the background, and I start painting with white. Oh, but I want the red back. Press X. Hey, there it is again. Cool. Um, very handy for for painting down the road. Very, very handy uh, when dealing with masks. Um, again, these are all these are all just the different different things that I use uh, on a on a daily basis. There is there is never there is never a time where I, when I am not using any one of these keys uh, ever. So I'm I'm always using using all these uh, all these different buttons at an, at every time. So for now, this is just a, a brief going over uh, my my different uh, tablet settings and Photoshop settings. So again, I urge all of you to become very familiar with your with your drawing tablet, and become even more familiar with the uh, with what goes on uh, in Photoshop. Uh, you know, these are all things that are that are meant to make your life easy. Uh, spending time going through menus, waste of time. You know, you want you want to pay as much attention and just you know just live inside of uh, live inside of your paintings.